hungry. Oh, boy. He's hungry, boys. He's hungry, boys. <laughs> <laughs> we just sitting here before we're rolling talking about W sauce and the things we cooked with it. And JD's like, uh. I'm hungry. Well, it happens, man. That's good for you. Marinate you some boneless chicken thighs in that W. Okay. <laughs> Deal. Did you bring them? No. I ate oh, them all. Dang. You don't have to bring like them. Ain't time. like that pork belly. Stone texted me the other night. said, I'm back on that pork belly. I said, Lord have mercy. My wife found pork belly on sale somewhere. <laughs> mm. Oh, four of them. <laughs> good for her. That's a good woman right there. I guarantee you. She's been shopping with Kay for too long. Yep. All of them. Kay would have called and said, how much room we got in the freezer? She'd have come back with nine of them. She'd have had a whole hog worth of belly. Buy a bulk, boys. What you doing over Oh, I'm looking at the fan rolled in. Isaac Barnett. Okay. And guess Isaiah. What, and guess what he, what he done? Battle vision, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I am in full camo battle vision. Man. I didn't know they made a chartreuse crayon. <laughs> that looks like a homeless Rambo. <laughs> That's it, boy. He got a knife on his shoulder, oh, yeah. a grenade, uh, a tea glass. So I appreciate that. And an M4. Yeah, but you know what? His mm-hmm. eyes ain't going to get put out. No. Nope. That boy's, hey, we got him protected. He is protected. Isaiah did that? Isaiah. Yep. Isaiah well, from, thank you, Isaiah. From southwestern Pennsylvania. There you go. Our man. 15 uh, years old and liked the podcast. Appreciate our, it. He's 50? 15. 15. Oh, I about to say. 50. I was expecting a little more yeah. talent for 50, well, but. Uh, for fifteen, I can I respect well, I where you're at. That's good. good yeah. Oh, it looks just like it. our man that celebrated yeah. his birthday with us sent us a box of stuff too. It's behind Johnny D. Uh-oh. Oh, um, he sent a bunch of salsa, and salsa, mm. and peanut butter candy. It's like he knows us. I know. <laughs> he was here for ten minutes the other day and figured out how to get to our heart. So salsa uh, and peanut butter. Yeah, hundred percent. Salsa get, and peanut. That'd get you a lot of places with me. So. Mm. Uh, there you go thank you for that and hope you had a happy birthday buddy that's cool what uh i don't even know what it's raining out there what's up we got another cold front coming Mm -hmm. Um, and everything is closed hunting wise yeah this is i don't like this time of year no it's the saddest time of year it rains every day because it'll warm up for about two days and you're like man i want to go fishing and next day oh no 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 wake up morning it's gonna be 28 and you're like tonight no 30 yeah is it supposed to be 30 tonight yeah 30 tonight yeah when you woke up this morning was as warm as it was gonna be today that's it. I was wondering why you had a jacket on and yeah. I had shorts on. Pre, I feel pre-planning. like I made them. I think it was 64 and it's going 30 tonight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had the air running yesterday in my house. Tonight I had a heat on. So yeah. that's just oh, yeah. this oh. that weird time well, of that's year. Why, that's why you get sick this time of year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Up, down, up, up down. down, up, down. Yeah. Yeah, one of my boys had a fever last night. That's the first time for that in four months. He, he run a little fever. That was not a pleasant night. Around He's running right hot, boys. Uh, yeah. There's them teeth popping through. I didn't see none, but, you know, whatever. It's he fine this morning, but last night he was grumpy. Boy, he acted like his mama last night. <laughs> Dang. I'm here to tell you. Hey, a little grumpy on. Ooh, son. A little grumpy. But hey, he, woke up, he woke up all smiles this morning, hey, so I was like, okay. Mama was grumpy. It ain't no fun around. Uh, I got a question for you. Hey, hey, has your wife ever just not talked to you for days on end? Oh, yeah. Have we talked about this before? I don't know, huh. but I just think that's a trait of the women that we married. My and that says something for mine because she lippy. She like to let her opinion be known about things. But yeah, I've had her. She'll just go silent. Not silent, but it. You can tell it's. Um, There's something in the air. Something's amiss. Yeah, it's it's a vibe you have. But I've also the learned air. there's also a certain time period where you wait before you ask what's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go in there hot because if you ask too early, they're just gonna say nothing. So I've learned twenty years of marriage not to even ask. There you go. You don't even ask what's You ain't going to like the answer anyway. Even though that you are, it's just eating you up. Like, I got to know what's wrong with this woman. You know what? You ain't got to know. <laughs> you don't have to know. It ain't like you're going to understand. No. You're not going to understand. <laughs> we you got the wrong know chromosome wrong. for that. Right, don't be that, that guy that goes, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? That's going to drive them crazy. Oh, yeah. So I've learned over the years just to play the same game that she plays so who's better at it who's better 
Her? Oh, I can I can sit there and keep my mouth shut with the best of them. Hey. You gonna play that game? Walk around, don't say nothing. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. sit there. Okay. I ain't gonna say nothing either. Okay. <laughs> I won't even look at you. So. <laughs> and she's probably thinking, why Why doesn't he care? What's wrong? That's right. Yeah. Hey, he ain't interested in why I'm sitting over here for I three say, days and not said a word to him. I say this early in our marriage, when I could tell something was wrong with Brittany, I was the one. What's wrong? Nothing. Okay, you're you're obviously not telling the truth. What's wrong? wrong. I'd, I'd try to get it out of there. Now, if I ask what's wrong, she says nothing. I just move on. There you go. Like she'll bring it back up whenever she wants to talk. Ten about years it. from now, you won't even ask. Yeah, no, you just know. Yeah. I, I go at no. What I do is I use them boys. I say go in there and ask your mama what's wrong with her. <laughs> <laughs> bring me some recon. Hey. Yeah. bring me hey. a little intel on what we're That's doing right. here. Hey. I need you. Yeah. You're, going, <laughs> I need, you're you're on a, a intelligence gathering. And don't tell her I told you to ask right. her. Yeah. Just go in there and say, mama, what's, find wrong? what's wrong. Yeah. Oh no, she pulled that stunt a couple of weeks ago. Went two days without saying nothing. You know, I didn't. It did not phase me. At all. 20 years, Because this happened before. <laughs> but I attribute a lot of that to her robbers and blood. Did what you I, figure it out? No, ever? hey, look. It's uh, just like, did you ever figure it out? No, I didn't care. Well, no, no. Hey, here's the thing. <laughs> no, no. It's just like this. All hunting dogs have their own little quirk. Oh, well, no. same thing with human beings. Oh, no. Oh. All human all He human, said human beings. He didn't say all women. All human beings have quirks. <laughs> Praise God. Okay. I was hoping you wasn't going to call Nan a hunting dog because I no. didn't know how that was going to go. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, me and Nan's got an understanding. She's gold. I mean, because I know she's going to listen to this. I know she loves listening well, to this. Well, no, I'm just saying. Every Tuesday and Thursday, right. she's oh, just you know waiting she's, by the yeah. YouTube at you know 545. You know she's tuned in. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. You know what I love about Nan? No, she become obsessed with these peanut butter pies. So about every two weeks, she'll text me and say, let me know when you want another one. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Why, you, you got something new you want to try, don't you? Yeah, bring it on. I'll let you know if you did it right. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's fine. And I look up there. I get a text. She says, in the refrigerator at the office. Now, right. you know what? I open that refrigerator, and there it is. There I'm it like, is. She did one a couple weeks ago with a chocolate crust. See, she Ooh. always like she fine tuning. She got the, that's that Robertson in her. Like this is really good. Now let's change it. Let's make it better. Make it a little <laughs> better. Each no, time. no, no. Hey, I'm telling you, the Robertsons have got a little mad scientist in them. Either I mad remember, scientists or they Daddy, don't feel like going to the grocery store. Oh no, no. Yeah. I remember when Daddy fell on the oil rig, broke his back. And had to stay at the house for, you know, like three months. Well, I would hope so. No, no, for the whole summer. Yeah. Well, hey, he got into a baking just, I don't even know what to call it. Your dad? Oh, yeah. Was a baker? Oh, yeah. That's something I ain't got the skill set. No, no, no. I'm talking about cakes, pies, the whole deals. And then when... Then he moved from cakes to pies to we make a lot of, uh, in the summertime, a lot of homemade ice cream. Mm-hmm. I'm in on that. Yeah. No, 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 no. But look, they made him and mama got in there and got to throwing all kinds of ingredients in there. Yeah. And they all, everybody ate a bowl of it except me. Because as soon as I tasted his first little bite, I, just, <laughs> I said, that, that's a bunch of crap. <laughs> you know, they all ate a whole bowl and were sick for about two weeks. But not the kid. Butter, hey, butterscotch ice cream. Hmm. So how'd that go bad? Oh, hey, I don't know, but it was. It wasn't bad. That it scarred. Was raunchy. It was I, raunchy. Do you like butterscotch? Uh, no. He's but been I talking I, about I that just took one bite of it, One little bite of it, a spoon, a teaspoon, and just spit it all out, and they all ate a whole bowl, and they were sick for about three weeks. Upset, stomach, vomiting, and all this crap. <laughs> so was it bad milk, you think? Like, I, I don't know what it was. Bad But cow? I said, hey, whatever you died there didn't work. Because let me tell you something, butterscotch is good. Yeah, uh, no, no, that wasn't. Well, I'm not saying that was, but I'm just saying in general, butterscotch is good. Yeah, like, so I've been talking about too, that one batch of ice cream is, yeah, for it's 60 too, years. It's too sweet. It's too what? Too sweet. Man, I see, Way a, too sweet. I see a butterscotch. That takes me back to my childhood. My grandparents always kept a thing of Werther's sitting there. Oh, yeah, no. Werther's. Or oh, right you know what? The, right by the door on the way out, so whoever was there would get a piece of candy and walk out the door. and. You know, little old, little old husky J.M. down here, about 150 pounds in the fifth grade, he'd get him a handful before he left my mom's house. <laughs> Where there's a, you know, that's my the, grandmother's house were legit. That's what I'm saying. Did they have reasons? No. The R-E-I-S? The, yeah. No, no dog ticks. Did they, what'd you just call that? Dog ticks. To me, that's what a raisin looked like. It looked like a tick. It done dried up. No, a reason. Mm. Yeah, I know. The candy. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, the candied raisins, right? No, oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, right. oh no, oh. no. Oh, right. These Which are one? it's oh, like a big a, piece no, of no, chocolate it. that's like kind of hard to chew. Oh, I ain't have him. Oh no. There were Werther's and them things. And sounds like I need a reason to try them. Yeah, oh, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> no reason required. <laughs> yeah, I got to find them. Werther's, and then she always had the, you remember the little strawberry candies that looked like strawberry on a wrapper? Oh, she yeah. She had them, too. Yeah. 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 That was that was part of my childhood growing up, and, and Papa kept a, a pocket full of candy right there for when he couldn't smoke his pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, he toted that pipe around everywhere. The only thing that ever, thing. Oh, I'd eat him. Have you ever had him? Uh, uh-uh. uh. I thought you were talking about the little things of raisins. No, raisins that, that are they terrible. tried. That they tried no, to camouflage with some good. Candy. Raisins are bad grapes. Oh no, no, them They're things right grapes. there were with the Werthers at my grandmother's house, and I the, they weren't there when I left. <laughs> You'd chew. They'd be in your teeth for four weeks, but it was worth it. Yeah, I don't know how raisins ever caught on other than that Christmas album. That's the only thing they ever did. That Christmas album is legit. Yeah, Mm. there you go. No doubt. (laughs) Well, let's take our first break. We'll be back right after this. If saving more and spending less money is one of your top goals for 2023, why are you still paying too much for cell phone service? Our friends over at Mint Mobile got you covered. They sell premium wireless service online only. Mint Mobile lets you order from home, save a ton, and with phone plans starting at just 15 bucks a month, I guarantee you it's cheaper than whatever you're paying for now. Super easy to set up. Pop out your SIM card, pop theirs in. It walks you through it. It was so easy, even Hunter could do it. And that's saying something. Yeah. He, he ain't even turned the clock on on this ad yet. Yeah. So, I Half mean, the time, the audio's all over the place on this podcast, yeah. but. He tries to blame it on us, but I mean, you can He control. gets Mint Mobile, boom, boom, boom. He's got yeah. a cell phone paying hardly nothing. And he's texting now. So yeah. it's weird. It's like, it's wild. He yeah. doesn't have to pay for text messages anymore. It's all unlimited. It's a cool thing. Proud it's, of you, Hunter. Yeah. Our communication has gone up tenfold thanks to Mint Mobile. For people looking for extra savings this year, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month by going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail mint mobile passes significant savings on to you all plans come with unlimited talk and text and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5g network you can use your own phone with any mint mobile plan and switch easily in minutes with eSIM. switch to mint mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free Go to mintmobile.com slash duck. That's mintmobile.com slash duck. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash duck. You've never had a reason? Oh, a reason. Me and my kids were watching the top 10 candies of all time by Tyler Tony. Mm-hmm. And he put them at number two, and they're like, what is that? I was like, he's right. I'm a joy. They're good. I'm a joy. What was number one? Alma Joy. Something terrible. No, really? Alma Joy. Oh, yeah, number one. With, bad. with uh, almonds. What it? With that's almonds. your favorite candy is an oh, Almond Joy? Yeah. Almond Joy. Because it's got nuts? It's got chocolate, it's got coconut, and it's got almonds. I didn't think you liked coconut. Oh, what are you talking he about? He loves Do coconut. You? Yeah. That's the best pie. Like, that's the best pie that Kay cook. Which one of you weirdo Robertsons don't like coconut? Because I love it. Somebody, one of you don't. I Jace? Don't, I don't know. Maybe uh, Jace. I don't know. Feel? Or is it Phil? I, I don't like don't coconut. Know. There's one of y'all. I, oh, no. I Hunter coconut. raising his hand like he don't like it. Oh, no, yeah. Now, if you got yeah. a real coconut and drill a hole in it. And drink it? That's good Oh, stuff. no, no. That's like, real good. I can I can survive on an island. No, as you, long as you got coconut. I'm serious. I how are you going to find enough coconuts for you and the boys? Hey, hold on. Hey, me and the boys will be all right. <laughs> You no, gonna I run out. Him, I send him up the tree to get the coconut, boy. <laughs> That's right. He's looked like Tom Hanks at the end of Castaway for hey, years. Oh no! Hey, yeah, I could I could survive off island as long as the coconut trees were good and had the coconut. Tom Hanks still be on that island if so it ain't battle nothing better than like up. what JD said. Drill a hole in a coconut, drink the milk. That then is good. Bust that joker up and then get you a knife and. Pop you out a big piece. Oh, of I love coconut. Fresh what? coconut. I probably wouldn't even put almond joy in my but top But it will. <laughs> one, one side effect on this is bad. What? If you eat the whole coconut, you'll have the squirts. The squirts. <laughs> That's it. Say. It'll get you, boys. <laughs> yeah, but you got to eat the whole coconut. But you can Hold watch on. It. You don't want to do that on an island. No. Why not? What you going to replace it with? Hey, hey. Squirts on an island? Yeah. Just get in the water. Shark repellent. Shark <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I got a use for everything. And right? catfish bait. 
All right, Kansas. There you go. <laughs> hey, that's it. it All at the same time. Bob, bottom feeders. <laughs> you know, that, that reminds me when uh, I took my wife on an anniversary trip a few oh. years ago to Lake Washita, a beautiful place. Mm-hmm. They got coconut? No. Oh. We, we rented a. We rented one of them boats, what are they called? Not a party barge, but like a, a platform boat or whatever. And you paddler? Go, no. A foot I, paddler? Uh, okay. No, no. It was. It had a, <laughs> this, this is a large I thought you were going to get Yeah, we're going on an anniversary yeah. trip. Well, no, Let's no. go pedal for three well, minutes. No, no, I thought like, y'all had to give, <laughs> give uh, man a workout. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. that's what she needs. Hey, oh, no. I she about that, you. She hey, about that big anyway. Yeah, hey, Kay, we used to pedal the boat, payroll. There you go. Yeah, but anyways, we, uh, we, we, we rented this boat. Because it has a bunch of islands on the lake. And I thought, we'll go island hopping. You know, it's a beautiful lake yeah. in the mountains. Oh, yeah. No, mountains, no. clear yeah. water. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's before but, uh, that thing turns to mud down here. Yeah, but yeah. we, yeah. for lunch that day, we ate at, ate some Mexican food. Uh-oh. And uh, <laughs> we got out in the middle of that lake, and it hit me. And I started stripping. She's like, what are On you your doing? anniversary trip? Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's like, what That's are you all. doing? That's honey? when you just wink at her. Because there was boats, <laughs> there was boats <laughs> going by. I don't know. I don't I you said, get a big smile on your face. Yeah, I said I'm, I'm gonna show you something I learned in the army. <laughs> I know what's like, coming. What so I jumped in there, and and once she figured out what I was doing, she uh, just you talking about get mad. <laughs> she didn't talk to him. She, she, she the said, she said "Are you seriously? Yeah. Are you polluting the lake? Uh, seriously? Relieving yourself in that lake? I was like, look, when you gotta go, you gotta go. You, and it turns out that's one of the best BMs you could ever take." Is strip down, jump in the lake. You just uh, better make sure that current's going the right way. Well, yeah. that's the deal. Because when, yeah. when, when you, you go to paddle, you uh, pull it to you. It'll yeah. pop up like a like a submarine that's coming right. up. That's and it. then once you start swimming, you pull right. it towards you. Here it goes. It's following you. So you got to go under and, and, then, gaining, and then come and up. And it's gaining on you. I'm talking about. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I recommend getting off the front of the boat. <laughs> Letting it go under the boat, and then by the time you get out, you clear. Just let the boat. So you stay in the boat. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Hold on to the. Hold on to the nose. Yeah, hold on to the bow. Let it go that way. You go back around the boat. You know they make current. They make those. uh, They make those trail motors now with remote controls. Mm -hmm. Where they've been out a while. Yeah. But if you hang on to the back, and you you put the trail motor on low. And just, just hold on and go. And just hold on. So you you get you got you a little. There you go. Now, my fishing buddies, you don't want to pull the stunt you're talking about trying to pull it. Why? Because, hey, you think go in the water, right in top, on top of it. Well, mm. I'm in the water anyway. But, right, because, hey, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm saying I'm already in the water. I'm just holding on to the bow of the boat <laughs> instead of the stern. Yeah. Do your fishing buddies push you in the water? Would they push you in the water? Yeah, they push but you Johnny in the water. Johnny Day, you like it, but they. Hey. That's, oh, yeah. that's like a bidet yeah. on that's like a steroid. bidet. Yeah. No, that's just a full, full blown soak there. Just one of the best <laughs> fishing. Hey, Why do you the... think kids do it all the time? They're yeah. at the bath, they're like, oh, perfect. One yeah. of the best fishing trips I ever had is in the, I was in the Army. We went to a uh, lake below Alexandria, Fort Polk. Then I can't say Bundick Lake. Bundick. Big, yeah. Full of big crappie. So we're, we're drinking beer, okay? <laughs> And I've got, look, yes. I've got. These are the best fishing no, no, stories. No, no, no. <laughs> I got, I'll start. I yep. got two buckets full of shiners, and I always just crushed ice. I, I'm putting crushed ice in to keep the shiners. Shiner you know. box? Yeah. You know, in the bucket. Oh, keep, you're talking about to, minners. Yeah, to keep them alive. I got you. Yeah. So we've been fishing all day, and, and this kid is from up north somewhere. He, uh, his brother was under me, E5 under me. So we put in on the creek, and when we was paddling out to the main lake to fish, you know, we come around the bend, there's a little old four-foot alligator, and I said, hey, don't let nobody move. I said, that's about $200 there if I catch him. <laughs> you know, I was just climbing around with the guy, you know. So I get up there, and he, he hits the boat, scares that gator, and the gator goes on it. So I come around another bend, and there's another one, there's a 10-footer. I said, boy, that, that's, that's some big money there if I can get him. You know, he hit the boat, scared him. I said, I'm going to get you for all this. You know, so we've been drinking beer, so hey, it hit him. He had to take a leak. So he went back, he's got overalls on. Okay, no shirt. Got overalls on. He puts his knees on back. Soggy boat. bottom boy. No, no. He's taking a leak, right? And hey, he had poured cold ice water, one of the shining buckets was empty, and he poured it on me. And I just told him, I said, I'm gonna get you. Yeah, you know, I said, I'm gonna get you when at least expected. So hey, he's back in, you know, <coughs> he's taking a leak. He, I just put my foot on him and just head first in the water. 
Okay, look, this kid was back in the boat. Okay, and I ha had to do this. I had to feel his hair because he had went he had went under the water. Okay, he was back in the boat and his hair wasn't even wet. <laughs> He's quick. And look, and hey, his eyes were this big round. He was just oh, 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 you you push me in the lake with all them alligators. Now, how did man get in the water and his hair? Anyway? No, no, that's why I literally had to. I was doing his hair with my hands and it wasn't even wet. I said, "Hey, when you're scared, world. you're scared." <laughs> he literally walked on water just like Jesus did. Uh, I'm serious. He wouldn't just. I, I, I don't think Jesus was wearing overalls and drinking no, beer when he did. No, that. well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> that doesn't sound anything worse than being in a lake with. Only overalls and no shirt on. No, but let me tell you, I got a myriad of them stories involving overalls, beer drinking, and falling in the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There, that is an all too common occurrence. Look, mm -hmm. his and that his, pack of cigarettes in that front pocket just getting ruined with the only lighter you got. Like I mean, I'm just telling you, I've seen it down there on Lafouche Lake and Beth River so many times it make your head spin. <laughs> it ain't ever me. I'm always a spectator, but I've seen it. That's what them rednecks do. Oh, yeah. Falling in the water? Well, no. I'm, I'm, were y'all running yo-yos, too? Uh, no. Oh, because <laughs> no, we had, that's we had, generally where these stories came go. Poles, came <laughs> poles, but, I mean, it was – yeah. I mean, I'm serious. The boy didn't even get damp. Because y'all from Caldwell Parish, what it sounds like to me. <laughs> right. That's where God was spawned from. The, the mm. boy did not even get damp. What age is it okay to switch to overalls only? I don't know. Because I'm thinking about making a wardrobe change. Well, your dad used to wear them. Oh, 100%. No, that's no. all he wore. Yeah. That's why uh, I'm asking. Yeah. I think I'm going to go. People, no, no, some people can wear them, and they look really good in them. I don't think his was a fashion statement. Well, it was no, more no. about functionality. No, he, looked, he wore them well. He wore them well. I don't, I don't think he was concerned about the way well, he no, no, no. They must be comfortable. He needed his snuff, his glasses, and his little notepad up top, and that overall offered yeah. that option. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. right there. No, no. Yeah, right here. That pocket, right here. You know, I think that's a great idea. I, oh, no. I'm, I'm either going to go with the overalls or those blue dickies. The dickies jumpsuits? The dickies. I used to the work for a man. Suit. I used to work for a man. He had a different color dickie jumpsuit for every day of the week. Blue khaki white it didn't matter we's we's landscaping mm -hmm. <laughs> oh well, you know that's coming back i see i see these young women and girls like Sadie and them they wear them things all the time i <laughs> see overalls and blue jumpsuit dickies all day every day oh 100 <laughs> you do oh, and, a, you know and, a, and a red handkerchief hanging out the back pocket ain't it uh -oh. Guaranteed. Uh -oh. They go to aisle one, head to the end, start tying uh -oh. jigs, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking you just, about. I think I've told this story about a red big red hanky. Well, just in case you ain't, let's tell oh, it yeah. when we get back from this break. Right. Yeah. I, look, I've been eating factor meals every day at lunch. Now, I, I got an air fryer. I bring it in. It shows up on Monday. I got lunch for the week. Don't have to leave. Oh, you get it shipped to the honey hole. I get it shipped That's straight brilliant. to the store, straight at work. I never leave for lunch. It's better than anything you can get in drive through better for you than anything you can get a drive through mm -hmm. I've lost like eight pounds. Yeah. No, it's been starting that. They're legit good meals. That, that's they're, the. That's, I was nervous. I was too. I was like. Come on now. You Two minutes be. in a microwave, how good this going to be? Well, I go with seven minutes in an oven. Well, there you go. But, but it's hey, good. When you got twins at home, you go two minutes in the microwave. Two minutes in the microwave, Obviously, baby. Factor is who we're talking about. Look, the coolest thing is they're fresh, never frozen. All Factor meal comes straight. They're, they're just not frozen. Look, yeah. they're so good. Just They sent us a box for free. I'm on box four. and Same. Two, three, and four weren't free. No, they were not. I, I, hey, this, I'm into this. I'll keep paying for this. Yeah. And the best part is you don't even have to think about it. It's already factored in for you. There you go. It's really good. You can. You got an app. You pick your meals on Wednesday. They show up on Monday. and you. Don't. But look, my mom kept watching me. She goes, add some more for next week. <laughs> so she's uh, going to get on it next oh, week. Oh, I'm going to have to double mine, too, because I keep sliding in there about 9 o'clock. Brittany got one going in the microwave. I'm like, hey, now. <laughs> They're, I'm out. They're like, good. No, they are good. And no matter what kind of lifestyle you have, whether it's keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, protein, doesn't matter. Factor has a meal for you. You can go through there. Pick your meals. That's the other cool thing. They got a whole menu. Pick whatever you want. They got a whole thing you can pick. You, you can get three of the same if you find one you like, or you can try something new every week, which I generally go with like an old standby and then 
I, I try some new stuff every time. I got and pork rigatoni for lunch. And yesterday. everything's factored in, boys. It it is, it's it's all, factored it, in. It's hey. all a factor in a healthier lifestyle. Oh, How about hey. that? Isn't that something? Get factored and enjoy clean eating without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh flavor packed meals delivered to your door, ready in just two minutes, no prep. No mess. All you have to do is head over to factormeals.com slash duck50 and use code duck50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code duck50 at factormeals.com slash duck50 to get 50% off your first box. Stone's just, Stone's going to the store after this. I'm, 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 I'm serious. I'm going with the Dickies. All right, he's going with them, boys. He's going with them. You would, hey, you would look hey, good in it. Next time y'all see me, I'm going to be wearing Dickies. Will right, you please there you get, go. Hey, right. will you go buy enough to get, get Diego a main or something, hey, too, and y'all all walk in? Uh, you look. wear a different color than they got, though. Right. Hey, hey, you need to get you a big straw hat to put put on with it. Straw, with it. I don't know about straw hat. Yeah, I don't know. You got to have straw Give me a hat. baseball hat, but yeah. I'm, I'm going to be wearing Dickies. So. But you got to stand. Now, I, there's other thing. There's a way to stand when you wear them Dickies. You got to arch that back back you think yeah. you gotta have oh, yeah. you gotta oh, yeah. have that waistline yeah. just out in front of, the, yeah. of your shoulders you think and you sell them on amazon oh 100 percent uh, i'm oh, on amazon it. baby get it 100%. no doubt i'm very excited yeah hey uh, amazon will get them for you no doubt but you got to get you a package of them red and blue handkerchiefs put in your back pocket oh that's right you gotta have your sweat right yeah now. wait the a minute big ones the big red mm-hmm. ones. Well, they get yeah. work pants. it's cheap too yeah look at forty dollars thirty dollars for a pair oh of that's pants. red that's, that's not even pants. on brand no that's a gar there that one's too thick there you go dickies what what's that's this girl comp- wearing what sadie wears <laughs> with vans look at that and, that hey, and they look good in them right there Young that's, ladies look, look real good. We got the, dark navy. That's gray. the winter. T- that's the winter time one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's twill. Yeah. Yeah. The summertime one is almost see through, <laughs> especially when you get to sweat. Oh, I'm uh, very excited. Oh, about. Dad wore them Liberty overalls and uh, all all the. Your denim. dad scared the out of me. Me too. <laughs> no, no. I, just, <laughs> look, I pulled up to the bank at the. The uh, uh, ATM uh-huh. get some money. Oh yeah, he up there working on flyer beds, and something, he's I'm doing sure. something. And yeah. next time I know, someone has opened my truck door and is in the truck with me. Mm-hmm. And I guess I had such a shocked look on my face. I seen you. Yeah. He said, "Oh, I'm Martin's dad." Yeah. Then I went, "Oh, okay." okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's up there working on flyer beds because you know that paper mill didn't give him enough to do. So he he did all the maintenance at all the credit unions there for a while. He he always had to be doing something. Mm, Worst well, thing that ever happened me. to that he man was retired. He scared me that day. He had overalls, no shirt, and yeah. it was hot in summertime. And he had one of the big red handkerchiefs when he got in the car. He was wiping his brow. Sucker had a big old belly, but was strong oh, yeah. as a. Was that your red oh, handkerchief story? Uh, no, no, oh. no. Oh yeah, what oh, is your red? No, no. Look, we got another one. We in, in high does it involve school, bumblebees? No, no. Oh no, never mind. That's why in high school we had a a football a basketball team. We'd go and play basketball at night. Yeah. And this was the local people. Okay. Oh, so a pickup game. Yeah. Anybody, okay. anybody could play. We had a farmer. Okay. He reminded me of your dad, big guy. <laughs> no, no, big guy. Okay, stout. Oh yeah, I'm about bull. to say stout because my dad wasn't by five ten. He wasn't no big well, guy. Well, this guy was six four and and a, he was a man. But anyway, he's a farmer, so he buys him a breeding bull, twenty grand. Brings him home, puts him in a pen. Okay, and one day he's walking across the pen. With that big red handkerchief in his overalls, back of his overalls, like a big flag. This is like a Bugs look, Bunny cartoon. Hey. <laughs> and it's the fifth different price. He don't, price he don't hear him coming, but anyway, that bull saw that big red handkerchief. Runs over this guy. Okay, so he gets up and he's dusting himself off, and here comes the bull. He's turned around, and he's coming back for a second time. He sidesteps this bull when he's running, and look. With his fist, he hits that bull right here, and tell me, hey, he got that bull goes to his knees and just falls over, stone cold dead. <laughs> his wife is watching all this. She runs out there and screams, "What did you do?" 
<laughs> For those new to the podcast. But this guy was a clown, though. No. We have already fact-checked this, and some dude has punched a cow to death. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. He was in Japan, hey, though. It, look, I'm so he, telling you, that farmer's hand was bigger, all, what, four times bigger than my hand? He was two inches taller than you? With no, no, he was 6'4", and weighed about 290. Right, he's close to three hundred, and not an ounce of it fat. If well, he, he ain't shaped you, like me, then. If he grabbed you, you're not going anywhere. Big old boy, and he had big old boy. Four hey, times his hands, that. I'm telling you. And he's paid seven his different hands, prices for his this. His hands would have covered that completely, where you couldn't even see it. He had boxing gloves for hands, all up. and he punched cows to death. Hey, that's it. One. Hey, look, that we know of. Oh, hey. The forehead of a bull. Twenty thousand dollars when you were in high school. Yeah, you could have bought like a whole town. Oh no no no! No, his name was Vivian. No, hey, no, my name was Vivian. No, I was talking the about bull. the guy that punched the punched oh, the. No, cat. I can't remember his name, <laughs> but he was a big old boy. He did kill a bull with his fist. That's why. And, hey, look right there on the bull. Ain't nothing but just bone and dent and thick bone at that. His name he was killed him dead King the David. <laughs> You don't, can be go, found you don't want to go in the first fist fight with this boy. He key. <laughs> hey, I'm serious. Then he went down and got five smooth stones out of the river and, <laughs> and took no, out a No, he used his fist. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey. Hey, look, I was you. just thinking the only I'm other person you, I know hey, that killed lions seen, and bears look, and all that. Hey, if you ever seen the movie Thor? Have you? Guy, hey, yeah, that guy's fist was like the hammer of Thor, but he that big. There you go. There you go. There he never go. could drop it. And when he threw it, it's too heavy. If he ever threw stuck. it on you and hit you, you're dead. <laughs> was he any good at basketball? Yeah. He had to oh. be. Oh, he had run over you. Did he deflate the ball? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> no, I just wondered. No. But According could, to you, his hands were the size hold, of the ball. He could hold it just like this. Stone, you got a confused look on your face. <laughs> what are you thinking about this one? Well. <laughs> <laughs> this guy didn't know what foul meant. Uh, F-O-U-L no, he, or F-O-W-L. He was like, he was like uh, who's the guy that was uh, everybody thought was so great at Shaq when yeah. he was at LSU? No, Look, he was. if you're seven foot tall and weigh <laughs> 400 pounds. Oh, here we go. And then you push everybody out of your way and dunk it. Uh, you ain't good. You're so I say Shaq's a fraud. Uh, well, no, no. Hey, he'd have, if I was a referee, he'd have fouled out the first three minutes. And then Johnny D wouldn't like you. That's right. Because you're a referee. And I didn't care. I'm against all referees. You're against all referees? You think, did you just say Shaq's not good at basketball? I, I said, <laughs> hey, I said, hey, he, look, if you're seven foot tall, weigh 350 pounds, you just push everybody out and dunk it. No, he ain't no good. Shaq was seven foot tall and 350 and pounds, pounds and could jump over you. He didn't do that, though. He just pushed you out of the way and then dunked it. Side he didn't need, have to leave his feet to do it. So I need to go watch the <clears throat> blue chips. Yeah. Hey, he didn't even have to jump. I'm not gonna to dis- dunk it. I'm not gonna disrespect my elders, <laughs> but I do have a problem with you disrespecting Shaquille O'Neal, sir. Shaquille. <laughs> hey. I had a poster Look, of Shaquille hey. O'Neal on the back of my door hey. in my room when you I was. You gotta a kid. understand the man. Hey, was the man he in a magic a, jersey? The man uh-huh. was a pro. Yeah. Okay, he could play the ball. But, so he, now he was good. But he did foul a lot. And, hey, if I was referee, he would foul out of the game Look, in Johnny three D, minutes. Johnny D, I, I refuse, as you know, to watch a basketball game. But I will watch Inside the NBA. Oh, with Shaq and, with Shaq, Shaq, Shaq and Charles and Barkley. And Charles and the Barkley. That's one of the best shows on TV. Yeah. No, hey, Charles he Barkley. No, hey. And Big Earn. They turn yeah. the basketball on, and then it goes downhill. But beforehand, the pregame is amazing. Oh, and halftime's oh, yeah. fantastic, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, me and Willie Charles, met man, Char- what are you doing? <laughs> me and Willie met Charles Barkley at a golf tournament. I was Willie's caddy, and they introduced Willie. And they were like, on the first tee, Willie Robertson. All of a sudden, I hear, boo, boo. And I turned around. It was Charles Barkley. And I just started giggling. I was like, keep booing him, man. Yeah. I ain't telling you to do How nothing. How can you not? He was huge. Yeah, he's a big man. He is very large. Yeah, very big man. But he wasn't no good because he's just bigger than everybody else. Yeah. Well, hey. <laughs> Look. I like saying Tiger Woods was no good at golf because he's the first one worked out. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on now. He was the first one. He was the first out. He was the first one not walking around smoking <laughs> cigarettes, so he wasn't any good. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Sidon got on this new age basketball where wow. they're just supposed to shoot threes. Yeah, he a Steph Curry guy. No. Nah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Charles, Dan Martin, forever. That's power. Uh, now. When you, as soon as you throw the ball, you don't even – 
You don't even catch it. You just you just change this flight in the air. Well, that I mean that is talent. What do you hear? What do you hear? I'm not see, but but I'm not going to say that's not talent. Nothing but net. I'd like to see him stop Shaq. (laughs) He can. Shaq can't get out there quick enough. So I watch your eyes now. You don't want. Uh, You don't want to put nothing out. You done lost your glasses. Hey. Hey, Uh-oh. I'm big as a cat, son. Here we go. I know you are. Well, let's take a break. We'll be back judo, right after judo this. Judo chop. Martin, did you get any underwear for Valentine's Day? I know how much you love them. I didn't get nothing for Valentine's Day. No. Oh. What did you want, though? Underwear. Always underwear. And as the weather gets warmer and jackets come off, what should we be putting on? Nothing. Tommy John. I tried to keep my clothes uh-huh. on. Well, I mean, hey. hey son, you just way here, I got it. I, I stopped, and I said, good night. I forgot to put my underwear on. And they's down there, though, wasn't they? I looked, and I'm like, well, good night. There, I, there. Put on two, <laughs> I put See? on two pair. On I accident? didn't know the first one was there. Oh, here we go. Hey, I'm telling you. That's how comfortable they are. I figured you just kept an extra in case you needed them. No. Look, when you wear Tommy John, you're that much more comfortable, so you can do everything better. Tommy John loungewear, pajamas, and underwear have dozens of comfort innovations, like luxuriously soft traveling and micromodal fabrics with four-way stretch. That ain't nothing going to hold you back with that. Tommy John's been covering our butts for 15 years, protecting our most valuable assets in softness and style with over $20 million pair so they ain't got customer side what they got oh no and they ain't got fans either they got fanatic there boys. you go one tommy john yeah. fanatic raves i bought one pair of loungewear and after wearing them for two days got all the other colors available he sounds like my kind of shopper because when i find something like that that's exactly what i do that's right everything is backed by tommy john's best pair you'll wear or it's free guarantee we all love them so will you shop tommy john's colorful new spring designs at tommyjohn.com slash duck and get 20 percent off your first order Save 20% right now at TommyJohn.com slash duck. See site for details. Hey, look, when you put on two pair and it's still comfortable, you know they got to be comfortable, boys. Judo, Judy. Hey, shot. he just said it's Shaq. Here. My glasses, I took them off because they're fogging up. My man said Shaq wasn't no good at basketball. No, I didn't say that. I said he'd have fouled out if I was the referee. I mean, in three he just minutes. made number forty-four throw the ball at him because he my put his favorite picture video at. He, he pushed, he pushed he the just, guy back and then dunked it, and then hey, and then just, fell in his around his chest with his leg. They just uh, teabagged. And then when he hit the floor, he pushed him, pushed him again. He didn't do that. That just happened. Oh no, that's a side it. effect. No, hey. it didn't just happen. You don't, know, you know where I don't hang out? It. Train tracks. Thing. Yeah. He did it. Don't get under there. That's right. Don't yeah. get under there. That yeah, happened to me. And the one time I made the news for basketball, I was that other guy. <laughs> he, he was one. Did you throw the ball backwards. at him? No, he was I one said, going back. I'm sorry for being in your way, sir. Yeah, next I, time I'll yeah. step out the way. I, and time. I was like, we were going to get beat by 50. Uh, we all knew it. These yeah. dudes were like all getting offers. And Who was it? Jonesboro Hodge. And we, oh. weren't, we weren't no good in it. Charles Scott, running back. Yeah, the Philly running back Del- for LSU. Yeah, he played yeah. on that team. He didn't start. That's how good they were at basketball. Yeah. yeah. And this dude, I threw a ball. They they stole it. And then he starts running at me, and I was like, well, here's my chance to block a dunk. And then I forgot that I can't get that high. And yeah, I hope I get to charge. He no. slammed it. He <laughs> slammed it home on me, and I got up off the ground, looked over, and, oh, Aaron's Aces was over there with the KTV camera, and I was like, oh, no. Yeah. And you ain't going to be the ace. I done got got, so. And you ain't going to be the ace. No, No. he was the ace. No, I was on his highlight reel when he went to college. (laughs) He sent that to scouts. Look what I did to this poor kid. Here here was the cushion, and you was the cushion. But he wasn't no good at basketball either. No, he wasn't no good. He fouled you. There's nothing more entertaining than watching a bunch of private school kids Uh (laughs) play basketball. Uh Uh-oh. Here we go. I'm yeah. interested. <laughs> well, hey, that's I'm going to leave. That's something I hey, never did. Oh, so. oh. <laughs> What'd I miss? <laughs> our, game, our game with the farmers around right there, it was very interesting yeah. and very entertaining. What position do you play, center? Uh, <clears throat> no, I played uh, all over. I was just wondering if you were any good yeah. or not. Yeah, you know, I would like J.D. Most of the time, I just got knocked out of the way and they'd you know, make, the, make the point. And that person wasn't no good, though. Uh, no, nah, he wasn't yeah. no good. He except, for that time, except for that time you were wearing them magic shoes. That's it. Right. Skunk, skunk laden school shoes. How many points do you score? Huh? That's the best night I ever have. You put a fitty on? Yeah, uh, his coach kept saying, get on him, guard him. He said, coach, the guy thinks like a skunk. He said, I don't care. Get on him. 
Wouldn't do it. Wouldn't do it. Wait, uh, you showed up to a basketball game with guy after getting yeah. sprayed by a skunk? No, no, no. My brother's the one that got sprayed. He had on a pair of brand new tennis shoes. Phil. Phil. Well, you know. He caught it in a trap. It caught yeah. Yeah. No. You got to get rid of it. And was out of bullets. He was running trap. Didn't have any bullets. Mama, mama made him get naked. Okay. Buried all the clothes. Buried the shoes. Well, hey, look. Two months later, here comes this basketball time. I need some shoes. So I went out there and dug them up. I wasn't no wrong with them. There's brand new tennis shoes. <laughs> Except they may have had a little odor to them. And they wouldn't guard you. And they wouldn't guard me. Uh, so, I, so you mean to tell me skunk spray will hold on to fabric after being buried for two months? Oh, yeah. That's wild. Oh, yeah. It's a powerful thing. Know, I, 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 by the way, that, look, that's not say, me doubting. I'm just asking. You know, they say, you know, okay, here's how you get it off of you. You know, you know take a bath in tomato juice. What? Who now, said? Who is they? Well, no, everybody, they all got a cure for, for getting rid of a skunk scent. Yeah. I'm getting head nods around. That's a You thing. ain't never heard that? Hey, yeah, here's it's like, the deal. It's like there tomato it juice and squeezed lemons in it or something, yeah. like, something crazy. And hey, here's the deal. It don't work. Basically, you make like a Bloody Mary, but you yeah. know, you're the eyes. You don't drink it. You're the like, eyes. You know. But hey, let me tell you the truth. <laughs> it don't, no, it don't go away. That's a wild ride that you just How long around. does it take to fill up a bathtub with tomato juice? It's a lot of cans. And how many hey, maters? Hey. Now, I could probably get it a quarter full at the house. The problem is. Currently? Hey, I'm currently, right You now. have that much tomato juice I at got, your house? Hey, yeah. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. T, baby. Forget the Bloody Mary. Okay, just hey. drink the tomato juice. Just keep the blood. Forget that's Mary. Right, that's right. You don't Forget need Mary. Mary. Forget yeah. Mary. You don't need her. Hey, if you want Mary, how you get proud Mary? <laughs> What is that? I don't, I don't know. Buy, hey, a tree. Uh, we'll, Buy a tree, save a life. You know what I mean? That's right. Hey, there you go. He's I'm just looking, reading his socks. He's looking at my socks, boys. <laughs> Buy hey, a tree, save a life. Buy a tree and change a life. Oh, change a change life. Change a life. That's right. Okay. Hey. Yeah, so Willie called me the other day. Saying, There's something going on over here, you know, with the sinks. So uh, I ease over there and. I got to listen in, in the singing and made a uh-oh that sound right there and I said hmm I think the septic tank might be full Uh-oh. which it shouldn't be you know you wouldn't think you wouldn't think yeah but so I go to another sink and I put my ear to it and go, <laughs> yeah that's a bad deal there bad deal so I call my man I got no guy so he shows up with with the hose. Well, when I walk up, I can't. The only thing I can think of is Christmas vacation. Mm-hmm. He's cool. standing over that hole with that hose, Uncle Eddie. And I walked up and I said, "What about it?" But you know what the problem was? It was not full. I looked down in the bottom of that septic tank, and there was a ball of grease at the size of a beach ball. Mm-hmm. Willie's not afraid to put anything down a sink. Yeah, he don't wipe out a pan and then put that in the trash can. He just, it just all goes to the sink, turned upside mm-hmm. down, and hope for the best. Well, that was funny because uh, Willie said, "Dang gum, Corey." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And we all know yeah. Corey don't cook. Yeah, the woman, the woman, the woman that opens a bag of lettuce <laughs> <That's right. laughs> and puts it in a wooden bowl. That's her fault. If there was a bunch of burnt toast yeah. at the bottom of the septic tank, <laughs> yeah. yeah. then maybe it could have been yeah. Corey. Yeah, if there well. was the tops of burnt bread in there, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But so grease, we, that's all him. Then we, then we went put the camera in on the other side of the house. Yeah, they got a camera that it got in there about 110 feet, about where the kitchen is. Yeah, and guess what? Clog, clog, that with, hard. Hard. That yeah. grease had done cooked itself to the inside of that pipe. Uh huh. So uh, we got to go in there with that. Uh, I made that mistake one time of draining something down the sink and it caught right there about the P trap and then everything come back up at me and I was like, nope. No more. Never, never doing that again. Mm-hmm. But I was just in a hurry. You know, I was like, oh, it'll be fine one but, time. No, one yeah, time wasn't even good. That grease in the bottom of a septic tank looks like, a, like, like concrete almost. Mm hmm. Yeah, like that thing that hit Joe Dirt. Yeah, that's what I, I thought I said. <laughs> he said, oh, boy, that ain't no meter, meter right. <laughs> I did uh, awful space. Yeah. Uh, so I seen Joe Dirt. I love it. <laughs> Have you seen Joe Dirt? Sir? Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. That's one of the greatest movies of all time. And you get the greatest piece of business advice of all uh, time in Joe Dirt. Yeah. You need more snakes and sparklers, snakes son. All right. Like, you mean to tell me you ain't got no kitty chasers? Wooshker do's, wooshker don't. Scooter stick, with or without the scooter stick. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I just love the fact. Now I'm picturing Cy si sitting there on the couch watching Joe Dirt. That's my and his favorite. Tommy John and his socks. Yes. His <laughs> yes. Oh, with a bottle of Omega XL beside him. Good. 9 11. Remember Let's Scooter. take another break. Let's take our last break. He we'll drives a 15 passenger van now. Did you oh, know I that? Saw I did. That. Know like that. Mr. T's. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. On the 18. Wow. Yeah. 18. The only thing that's missing yeah. is free candy. But <laughs> oh my we'll be back right that, after this. That the gold change. <laughs> All right. Johnny D. Hello, friend. We're back. What is in that hello at duckcallroom.com? Hello at duckcallroom.com inbox. Um, Anything interesting? Anything about Joe Dirt? Nothing about Joe Dirt. But for the YouTube commenters, my wife was recently on an episode, and they, are, they all are coming up with this new joke, apparently, that I she's way better looking than me. Duh. I know that. And we've known that for years. Yeah. <clears throat> in your face. Um. Anyway. And I think that can be said for, yeah, all of all us. All of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and speak out a term for Goblin and McMillan, too. Yeah, all of us. All of us. So, <laughs> um, you know what that tells you? We're great salesmen. We believe in our product, boys. I still can't. Allison's never going squirrel hunting, but hey. Hey, that's fine. Take what you can get. Yeah. All right, so Rosie emails in from Ro Garland, Texas. Rosie. Garland, Texas. Rosie, if you're listening, we're probably a little late on this, but I've been trying to get to it, and I, it's an interesting question because she's pursuing a career in culinary. Oh, okay. So I like a chef. So anyway, here's her question. She's talking with this guy. They both really like each other. He knows she can cook, so he's a smart man. Whoa, whoa. Um, so for one of their dates, he's trying to get her to come over and cook for his family. Mm. So she's about to meet the fam. So here's her question. What does she cook? Oh, she ain't cooking just for the boyfriend. She's cooking for his whole family. Well, I'm going to assume her, him and his parents. Something they're so. And they're from uh, Texas. And her chef that she's under said to go big and cook lamb. No, no not in Texas. No, no, not in Texas. Lamb, mm. cow's king. Yeah, cow's mm. king in Texas. Lamb. Lamb. Not, think about it. Yeah. That I'm not into. Forget the lamb. Well. Yeah. The right piece of lamb is really good, but it only takes one bad piece to make you never want to eat it again. I ain't big on lamb. Yeah, I ain't either. No, I, beef. Yeah. Beef is king in yeah, Texas. Beef, beef, beef is, is king. king in Texas. Oh, yeah. Well, just but, find, find out what his mama likes. But don't make her specialty. But don't use her recipe. And okay. don't make her specialty. If she's like known for... I love mama's fried chicken. Well, don't make fried chicken. Don't compete right. with don't it. Don't no. chicken. Because you don't right. want a bunch of people comparing you to hers. Actually, you may want to find out, like, man, what do you really like? But your mom ain't that good at cooking. Yeah. <laughs> and then you slide in, and you're like, boom, got it. This is what I bring to the table. Because yeah. I found out one thing. Nothing nothing fires women up more than to tell them so-and-so's cornbread better than yours. Oh. What was I, That happened to me the other day. Who'd you tell? I, well, we had something. I said, man, this is really good. And Allison goes, what? You don't like mine? And I was like, go. whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm. Yeah. Where, where did we, all this come yeah. from? Where, no, yeah, I just said this, come this come is good. I was I was surprised at how close it was to yours. <laughs> but the last time you had hers, you didn't say this is really good. You, See, took, yep. you took it for granted because yep. it's mm -hmm. there all the time. Mm. I forgot what it was. Yep. <laughs> but man, I was ooh, I was dip dodging, ducking and diving. Oh, and there was a war going on there for about a year in our neighborhood. <laughs> Between Lisa and Missy over cornbread. I'm out. Well, I'm going to vote right now without uh, even tasting them. Uh, Missy. Huh? Because I'm more afraid of her than Lisa. Yeah. No. Uh, no. Hey, no. let me tell no. you something. No. You no. shouldn't be. No. No. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let me tell you something right now. Lisa comes from a Gibson clan. So. I'm on uh, Lisa's good side somehow, uh, some way. Well, we all are because we like to eat. You know, do you want to get Lisa mad at you? Let her put something out there in front of you. You don't eat it. That's a bad deal. Problem is, she cooks so good. You ain't really well, got her. Yeah, that's that not really it. That, that, that don't happen often. Who eventually won the cornbread war? Oh, hey. Well, nobody. There were no winners. No, it was just all bloodshed. Probably. It was just carnage. Because it... <laughs> 
Yeah. Because it's this recipe, huh? But I don't know. I've got Lisa's screenshot on my phone from her little index card out of her kitchen. That's you, the one I use. You, if you say Mexican yeah. cornbread, yeah. that's, Mexican that's the cornbread. one Lisa wins the pot. Here it is. See, I knew where that was. Yeah. Page 55 of yeah. Kay's first cookbook. Yeah, yeah Mexican cornbread. Yeah. And this, yeah. it says a note from Lisa on here. And I've always, I always went by the recipe in the book. Then I had Lisa's one time, and I said, okay, now I know. Yeah, I'll fix I got that. Lisa's on a little yellow note I know card. a little adjustments to make him. Whenever I make Lisa's cornbread, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. zooming oh, the tires. Yeah, when you People put, are impressed with me, and I'm like, yeah. oh, that's what when I you, do. When you <laughs> say Mexican <laughs> cornbread, all right, yeah. If I want to have it, I'll go to Lisa. That's what, you know hey, what? I say this, too. That woman's throwing down on a pot of beans like it ain't nobody's Ooh. business. Allison well, got right. that recipe that's, from Lisa, and then I do the cornbread, and Allison does the pot of beans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's five, 50 years of improvement. That's right. Rosie, that's what we're going with, a pot okay. of beans. Okay, it's always and beans cornbread. and cornbread. It's, it's never the same. It's never the same. We're always putting something else in there talking about, well, hey, let's kick it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, Rosie, you're in a tough spot. Every time I cook for family members, I just cook wild game because I know they don't hunt. Yeah, all my other one I cook because they can't compare mine to nothing else, and I don't want to hear no trash if they say this ain't as good as the other one. <laughs> mm -hmm. So these are gonna be the best duck wraps you ever had. You know why? Because you ain't ever had them. Right. You ain't, so man. deal with you ain't got right. no duck, and they good anyway. That's I'll good serve point. them the premiums. I don't serve them mallards. You know they get the woodies and the teal. Well, but, I would say just cook whatever you feel really good about and go yeah, with it. Absolutely. And then add like a weird pizzazz, Willie style, or a peanut butter pie. Oh, peanut butter pie. Peanut butter pie. Hall jelly on. Oh, Ooh. Lord. Yeah. I'm jelly starving. On How do we always end up back at food? Mm. I don't know. All right. Our next email is from Joshua, and he's either from Newington, Connecticut, or Waltham, Massachusetts. They're probably really close to each other. I'm assuming so, but my man. That East Coast wild. He's man. got a really cool signature on the bottom. He's a builder and. No. He runs things. There um, you go. But he said, I need stone, the girl dad. Um, so he's, they have a little girl, second daughter due in May. He loves the outdoors, and his, he's got a dream, and that dream is to be like stone and bullfrog. So he's asking for advice on inspiring a love for the outdoors. Mm. Well... I, I would say <clears throat> a lot of that depends on their genetics because <laughs> I got one, my oldest one, she don't care nothing about it. Of course, that could have been my fault, but with Bullfrog coming along, I thought, you know what? I'm going to do everything I can to make this fun for her, but she's kind of deadpan like her mama. She, she don't, she's not very emotional, <laughs> but I started training her when she was about five shooting bb guns you know we play i made little games that she could play with it and you know and taught her the right way to shoot you know but she's always been that type where she wants to do whatever daddy's doing my other daughter nope she didn't care just opposite so i think there's only so much you can do to make that happen but i would say the best thing you can do is to keep it fun yeah keep it fun it, when it turns and if you gripe and complain and, you, and if she can associate anything negative with it, she's not going to want to go. But if everything's fun and positive, well, that's something they're going to want to do all the time. But uh, she just kind of took a liking to it. And now my youngest one, she's eight. She uh, she asked me all the time to go hunting. So I'm starting the same process with her. But she was a little more high strung than bullfrog, so I had to I had to wait a few years. <laughs> you get her, away. Get her, you know, some of that, you know, bad bloodline in there somewhere. But well, Hurricane Sage. No, know, that's, she's a tornado. A tornado. She, right, she's not why, much on patience. Her, her nickname is Taz, the Tasmanian Devil. My boy's but not much. On I guess what I what I can tell you is, and look, there's nothing more special than having having your daughter out there hunting with you and fishing with you and um you know we've made good nights so many good memories over the years that i'll take with me to my grave and uh just just keep it fun for them yeah. and uh because golly man they grow up so fast so fast people say that all the time you don't really think well, about it, but yeah a man told me when i was about 25 he was about 65 
He said, you better enjoy it. Mm-hmm. He said, because hey, you'll blink, you'll be my age. And that's true. I blinked, and I was his age. There you go. Wearing chartreuse glasses. Yeah. Wearing chartreuse glasses. No, no, I have to say this. What he said there, dude, about, hey, make it fun. If it's a winter time and it's cold, make sure you got the correct clothes for the child to wear to that's be right. warm. Bring a heater. Because if, if it's not fun. Yeah. Okay, they're not they're not gonna get it. And what I've seen, BK's my hunting and fishing partner, his daughter, and hey, she doesn't show much emotions except when she straps me every time we go hunting. She will smile when she straps. Or every time we go fishing. <laughs> okay, she'll she'll you know yeah I got okay. you again, old man. What, what I've seen though from this, when you have an axe to grind with your quarry, like if you like you need to go hunting. That's not they take your kid. No. Go when you have been satisfied with whatever you're doing. Because, like, they're not going to want to stay the whole time. Mm-mm. And that's fine. Well, their attention They're going to want to leave. And if heart. you're fishing, it's going to be tangled city. If you got a problem mm. with getting knots out, then don't go that day. Go catch you some fish. <laughs> take her the next day. Mm-hmm. Like, that. just make sure that you're there for them and not for yourself. That's if right. You're there for, when you go for yourself, go by yourself. Yep. Like, don't, don't take the kid. I've just seen my buddies do it. And that's notes I've made with these two boys I got coming up. I, I figured out, like, because there's days where we all have an axe to grind with our, our quarry. <laughs> like, I need to go kill me some ducks. I need to go on a nice, relaxing, got mad at them. fun duck hunt. Yeah. Like, yeah. And that's not a day I need to take my kids. I need to take my kids the day after that day. Well, my blood pressure is at a minimum already, and if we flare them, we flare them. Who cares? Like, and, you know, ain't no big and deal. And look, it is very therapeutic, and it will teach you patience. Yeah. You start taking your kids, because when I take him and bullfrog fishing, <laughs> I don't he, fish. No, you're got, a deckhand. He's got, I tie jigs. He's from got the two kids time, to take care of. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> when the time that motor shuts off, I'm tying jigs. <laughs> Yeah, you just a deck the, hand. Till the motor comes back on. Tie jig, take fish off. Tie That's jig, it. I take got, fish off. I got tie five jig. poles I'm leaning up on the rail there. <laughs> and I keep it. I'm just constantly tying jigs on. And I hand it to them. They'd break it off again. Hey, you got to get them in the brush one, top to break catch it off. Yeah. You got to get in the brush top to catch it. I don't mean you got to leave it there. Yeah. Well, I know, but yeah. hey, you get, you, hey, if a crappie don't hit it, hey, you get caught. Hey, but well, hey, look. Well, that's been fun. Johnny D, you got one to close us yeah, out on? Tristan, yeah, Tristan, who uh, gave us the salsa and the peanut butter candy he uh he wrote colossians three seventeen at the bottom of his letter so i'm gonna do that one perfect uh whatever you do in word or deed do everything in the name of the lord jesus giving thanks to god the father through him mm. that's Amen, just Tristan. a solid one yes sir uh, you'll never go wrong yep. never go wrong we'll see y'all next time right here in the duck call room we're out